How does Gibraltar's English compare to others around the world? That's what Professors Cristina Suarez Gomez and Professor Elena Seon have been gathering data on. This has involved natural conversation sessions in Gibraltar, just talking to locals and examining how they speak. Their work forms part of the International Corpus of English Project, a global initiative that seeks to create a comparable corpora of English from around the world. Both have been researching Gibraltar English since 2015. Gibraltar English is unique in the world. So um, the first thing that comes to mind or the first thing that strikes a, a linguist when we hear Gibraltar English is intonation, which is so special and different. Also vowel length, your vowels tend to be shorter. Uh, also the uh, many phonemes, many consonants are different. But then if you have a large collection of texts, which, which is what we are trying to do, then you will discover other tendencies like maybe a higher or lower use of passives or a changes in mode verbs or whether the um, variety is more conservative or more progressive or whether it's been Americanized or not. And what have you found from the people that you've spoken to? Have you found some of, some of those things that you're talking about, you know, British or Americanized way of saying things? Have you discovered that? Oh yes, we have. And uh, it is a very uh, funny in a way that when we came here the first time, that was in 2015, um, people didn't mention Americanization at all. And now when you talk to people, they say, well, you know, my kids now speak American English and they say things like recess instead of break time. And we are really surprised everything is becoming so Americanized. So we can see the influence of social media and globalization on Gibraltar English as well, which is something that is happening all over the world. Well, there is some, uh, well, something related to what uh, Elena was saying, and it is a study that I, that I, we, ca we carry out in, 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 in our team, which is the, the sort of a connection between Spanish and, and Gibraltar English, than, than when, and especially in, in written, written discourse, local written discourse, that uh, when a proper name is uh, mentioned, and this is very common with, uh, with uh, politicians, when a proper name is mentioned, if the, 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 the person comes, uh, is local or comes from the UK, for instance, instance, they refer to them, the title they use is Mr. But if it is a Spanish one, they immediately say Señor. So it's like a Señor whoever, a Spanish one, and Mr. whoever, if it is a, if it is a, a, a local or a, a British. And well, it was very, very fascinating, as Elena was saying, for, for us just to check these differences, which are different with respect to other English varieties, which is what we are uh, basically comparing, because it is something that is uh, so local that we think that is like a... <laughs> I mean, yeah. for us as linguists, you just say like uh, they are crazy, but for us uh, uh, our linguists, these are like uh, yeah, nice, yeah, special, yeah. very special. The visiting professors have been having one-to-one -one conversations as well as holding a public talk at the Charles Hunt Room in the John McIntosh Hall, exploring language and identity titled Speak That I May Know Thee. Elena and Cristina are also involved in a book collaboration with local author and book council member M.G. Sanchez and a number of prominent Gibraltarian authors, journalists and educators. It's titled Gibraltarians and Their Language, 21 Linguistic Biographies, which will explore Gibraltarian attitudes to language in the shape of 21 linguistic biographies.